Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. I guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're late enough as it is. Aw, oh, man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you've gotten to your hazard suit. Get away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. Gordon, Please don't call. touch that. Zero, one, zero. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. Earlier, but the thermal seems oh, would you look at that. Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Good morning, Freeman. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. There's a pepperoni pizza in my near future. Gonna get me one of them jumbo size running. Right this so. Uh, you'll just have to wait until after the test. I've got this under control, Gordon. You forgot to carry the two, or was it the three? I don't know about that, Dr. Truman. Seems to me that he's just spouting buzzwords in his research papers that he picked up from perusing popular scientific periodicals. Got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through. single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does Max have a point. Demon. Oh, but this is it's cold in here. I assure you. For one, it shows how far our world has come since the original study was published. And to say nothing of the progress made in the past century. Morning, champ. Hello. <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. Cause, uh, that was, um, that was you-know-who's lunch. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Welcome to the 
HEV Mark IV protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. I am back. Reactive armor activated. Atmospheric contaminant sensors activated. Ah, I remember my days in the hazardous environment suit. Of course, at the time, it was Mark III. Mind you, the base color wasn't so loud, and the helmet wasn't optional, or ventilated. There wasn't an integrated waste disposal system, either. Count your lucky stars. Have you ever seen those electromyographic sensors in the old biomechatronic Mark I? A marvel of modern engineering. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Hi, Freeman. Did you catch that last one, Julie? Hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angle to make sure the super... What's up, Doc? Are you running those tunneling lattice calculations again? Ah, Gordon! Ah, Gordon! There you are! Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned if we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last minute changes, they're a bit strange. Oh, it's about to go critical. What in the blaze is going on with our equipment? By Beckrell's ghost! The radiation level is off the charts. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Ah, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. 
He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Testing. Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-max spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Very good. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Uh, please, work as quickly as you can. Overhead capacitors to 105%. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well with an acceptable balance again. Sustaining sequence. We've just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Standard insertion for non-standard specimen. Go ahead, Gordon. Slump the carrier into the analysis port. Gordon! Get away from the pain! Oh. oh my god. Shut it down! Shutting down! Someone get him out Attempting of there! Shut, shut it down! It's not... It's not shutting down! Oh god! Whoa! 